Welcome to a very special episode of the Modern Playbook. Uh, as many of you are aware from uh, following us on YouTube and Instagram, uh, the Modern Playbook cast had been suspended by management. Uh, Dino, uh, our chairperson, uh, spoke with management and uh, was able to uh, negotiate uh, a lifting of the uh, reasonable and customary suspension. Uh, as a result of my misconduct, I was uh, placed in a cage and bitten by a puma. Um, the wound is healing, uh, but again, Praise uh, the Lord. It's, it's good to be here. Uh, gentlemen, would you please introduce yourself? Uh, uh, the young CEO of Tales from Flipside, you know, um, and it's it's a week to week thing, boys. I, I, that's all I can negotiate. So. Hey, I'm Jessup, a uh, half price crook or the crook, whatever you call me. Steve, not- my bargain comics, and um, I'd just like to echo Nico's statement of contrition. Um, you know, we're all complicit in this, and, um, you know, it's been a hard week, but um, together we're get- going to get through it and get off probation. Yeah. Okay, hey, I'm uh, Mr. Long Short. Ben, and listen, I apologize for Marvel Previews 95. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we were really excited uh, to bring you guys some new content. Uh, we have lots of books that we purchased at market price uh, or more, uh, 20% above eBay uh, that we'll show at the end of the show. And then uh, we put together some slides uh, for books that uh, have uh, value to run collectors um, and and other people as well. So, uh, guys, uh, shall we get started from the top? Yeah, um, and I'll say too that we want to um, do this on Sundays. We're releasing this stuff on Sunday mornings now. So just on the YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what do you want to start with, boys? Uh, well, let's just let's start at the top. There's a, a ton of uh, forthcoming television. Uh, it looks like WandaVision will be here in January. I think, uh, if I'm correct, that Ben was kind enough to put together some slides about uh, Moon Knight. Or no, uh, let's start with um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which is still a little bit out. Um, hasn't been picked to death. And uh, there was a, an interesting casting. So, Ben. Yeah. So, so real quick. So, so this this guy right here, his name's uh, Danny Ramirez. Um, his role has been listed as pivotal, but hasn't been disclosed. So, there's a lot of people thinking that he's going to be the new Falcon. Um, the new Falcon is um, a, a, of Latino descent, and you know th- this guy certainly fits the bill. Um, what I think is interesting is is that there's been a lot of talk that. Uh, in each of these properties, there's going to be sort of a young Avenger, if you will, introduced. So if we think about um, Hawkeye, very clearly that's Kate Bishop. Um, and if we go online, you know, there's other characters that are definitely showing up. You've got um, Wiccan and Speed probably in WandaVision. So who's the young character coming out of Falcon and Winter Soldier? It's this guy. And, uh, and there's only really one book. You could really play here. Um, it's Sam Wilson, Captain America number five. Um, Dino, you know, I don't know if we've got a picture of that one right after this. Um, Bam. So, so, so this book um, wasn't hugely ordered. Retailers are ordering this at less than 30,000. There's no variance, um, um, but there is a second print that is super, super hard to find. Probably only Carter who failed to show up tonight. I got a, I got a problem. I, I found first and second print, but they were beat to shit today, so I passed on them. Was that a mistake? I, I mean, know, when, I say, mean when, when I say when I say they were buy them for these black covers, do get the shit kicked out of them. Dude, um, they but, were brutalized. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, and I that's still tough. almost bought them. Um, I still it, almost bought them. If this guy does show up in the show and ends up becoming the new Falcon, I think these books are going to go crazy. Uh, but it's relatively cheap spec right now. I mean, you can probably find these 
in back issue bins for cover, five bucks, you know, and, and, and move them for more. Th this one with the blue trade dress, that's really the only difference between the first and the second, is really, really difficult to track down. Yeah. I found one. Multiple spine kicks and color rub uh, on the copy that I saw today. I mean, I, for how much? Cover price. I'm already <laughs> regretting it. I would have grabbed it. The second yeah. is fucking hard. It's a hard book. I would have grabbed that one. The first, maybe not, but but this one um, is pretty tough. I mean, I think there's maybe the last time I checked, one on eBay sitting around like 50 bucks or something like that. Um, yeah, I probably screwed up. I've never seen either one of those books. When did they, uh, when did they come out? I mean, like this, this is probably what? 2018? 2018 time frame? Yeah. Shame on me. I don't, I don't know the answer to that. Um, I'll look, I'll look. It, yeah. So, Jessup, legitimately, I've been looking for them for a long time. These were the only copies I've ever found of uh, the second print. The first print was also just destroyed. Um I should have snagged it. If I, if you knew, I mean, I'll tell you later how much money I spent. Uh, that was the only reason um, I, feel like I didn't. You know what I mean? It was like oh. one of those situations. Like, uh, we uh, we grossly. What did we say? Uh, we grossly, grossly underestimated it. 2015, 2017, boys. Okay. Wow. Oh, listen, 2020s has felt like six years. I can't mm -hmm. keep track of anything right at this point. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, yeah. If you guys see these out there, I, I would be snatching these things up. Listen, there's no guarantee that that kid ends up playing this character, but given given the buy-in here, uh, that this seems like you know a, a pretty good opportunity. Yeah, that's a smart book, dude. Smart book. Listen, and, and he's if you looked at the outlawed book, like he's uh, front and center on the on the cover of that of the uh, Tony Daniel book with like all the characters on it. I mean, Mar Marvel's got plans for this guy, this character. Um, yeah, um, but like I said, if, if this is the one that comes out, if this is the character that comes out of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, this thing, this thing will go, will go bonkers. And this second will, will be hey, the to thing. follow up on that thought. Uh, cause that's something that I do too. I will look at, um, these, uh, composite sketches. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, there was a Spider-Man, uh, birthday cover. that was like a retailer incentive. Um, I went to try to figure out who the people were that were on the cover. Right. Remember, I even called you about the one character. I'm like, who the hell is this person? Power Man or whatever it was. I think. Yeah. Right. It was. Yeah. It was like the second Power Man. Yeah. Um, I, I think that's a really smart way to kind of like uh, take the temperature of. Um, well, I, well, I told you, Nico. I mean, I, I reached out to Tony Daniel about that cover. And, you know, I'm a Gwenpool fanatic. I mean, listen, why was Gwenpool? And it's like they Marvel gave me a list of characters to feature front and center, and Gwenpool was one of them. I'm like, fuck yeah, that's all I wanted to hear. He was just super nice about it, but uh, but 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 she was, you know, after Miles and maybe one other character, like she was the most prominently featured character on that cover. And he said that he was given a list by Marvel of characters to make sure that they were front and center. So, and she was one of them. Good stuff. Cool. What's, what's next, buddy? I got a. Uh, we can talk a little Moon Knight action, and I'm going to start with this one first. Yeah, no. So, so Moon Knight. Um, we we all know Moon Knight is coming um, to Disney Plus. The reason I wanted to talk about this these books is that you know David Finch for for a lot of people is sort of the the artist that's most affiliated with this character in the modern age. Uh, Bill Sinkovich, obviously, maybe if you're going back a little bit, is is maybe the guy, but. But 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 modern Moon Knight, Finch, and Moon Knight go hand in hand. This was Finch's first work on Moon Knight in this series in 2006. Um, this book was massively printed, right? So there, there there's no spec value really in this book. It is literally in dollar bins. I grab them all the time with the shit kicked out of them. But there are a couple of other opportunities for this particular book. Um. This for me, um, there's this there's a sketch variant. I don't know if you've got that one. You know, this this book seems to there seems to be some misinformation about it. A lot of people, not even a lot, some people refer to this as a one in twenty five. I don't think that is true. It's far too common from what I've seen to be a one in twenty five. It's really cool in its own right, but 
it, it, it's fairly fairly easy to come by. Um, if somebody out there knows, please um, let us know in the comments. I really don't think this is a one in 25. I, I think it was just sort of another cover that you could order um, um, because, you know, you can find it for, for, for really next to nothing. Yeah. As I was doing work in this book, if you go back one, yeah. the one that really seems pretty interesting to me is, is this director's cut. Um, as I was researching it, it looked like retailers ordered about 5,000 of these. Um, um, so that that's relatively scarce. And, I, and what, what happens with this book, because it looks so much like um, the, the, the number one, it gets you know jammed in, in dollar bins. It gets the shit kicked out of it. But this is, if you look at this, this is sort of a half sketch, uh, half regular cover. And I think, it, it, you know, I think this book has really, um, really huge potential because, like I said, David Finch, his first work on the character, um, and um, there's not that many of, the, of this particular issue. And, and, you know, I've got one here. I just want to show it real quick. You know, the back, instead of an ad on the back cover, you get another, you get another Finch um, drawing here. Um, so if, if you guys are out there hunting, when you see these, right, I, 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 would, I would be grabbing these without any question. Um, you know, the, the, the uh, the, the, the first print just has sort of a traditional ad on the back side of it. This one's got uh, the cover of issue three. Issue three. This came out um, the following month from, from, from the first print. So it's not a book I hear anybody talking about, um, but it's something I, 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 would, I would grab. You can find them out there right now for, for 10 bucks or less. Uh, it seems like a pretty good play. Can we talk a little bit about uh, Steve's observation uh, about the Young Avengers one director's cut? I mean, that book's already getting a ton of heat. Um, it's selling for what, like 40, 50 bucks? So, uh, oh, more than that. I mean, it's close to a hundred, I think. Wow. And, and and I think what I mean, I, th I think part of it is, you know, I get into I get into debates with people about this all the time. Why is that book attractive? Well, the cover is pretty cool. It's also a half sketch cover, much like the Moon Knight. Um, but um, you know, there's just, there's probably twenty thousand of those versus over a hundred of 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 the first print. I, I think collectors want things in their collection that are a little bit less common. So um, so that director's cut became you know really appealing. I want to be clear though, not all these director's cuts are layups to me. Uh, there's a Vision One director's cut. That's that what I was I, talking about. What's that? That's what I, I was thinking about. Couple of lies because it came out three years later, and I think it has issues one, two, and maybe three in it. And I've got a couple of them. Well, there's there's six of them. So the Vision miniseries was one through twelve, and then they brought out a uh, six uh, six comics that were the director's cut that each contained two issues. So yeah, but it, it came out a, a ways after, and they're they're cool in their own right, but. I, I don't know. That almost feels to me like it's too disconnected from the original print, and it's more of a quasi trade paperback, if you will, than an actual comic. I, I, I don't know. It, it's one of my favorite Marvel books, so I I, I bought them when they they came out, um, and they've got some. If I recall correctly, they have some interesting back matter about the story and the scripts, and that, well, that's absolutely true. There's some, I, yeah. I think I might have one here somewhere. I don't know what the hell I did with it. it yeah, there, there was even a variant for the uh, Vision director's cut number one. Scotty Young did one. one. Yeah. yeah. Russian nesting doll type looking one. And, and to go back to the Moon Knight, um, so it was, uh, it's, it's not like it's a real big story, but it's a limited, it just says limited edition on my comic shop, which is really, they're really good about one in 25. So this is limited edition. And then the other thing I, I noticed when I uh, was doing some searching was, I added this picture actually. So they actually did a Dynamic Forces um, signature series of this mm. actually. Yes, Moon that's Knight, right. So. There was Dynamic Forces of that. So yeah. just make sure everybody's aware and you know if they see something signed, it's like oh my god, it's just probably the Dynamic Forces uh, one. So yeah, the irony is that I wouldn't buy a Dynamic Forces variant uh, from a previews catalog um, ever. But if I see one out someplace, I'm like, oh, I'll buy that Dynamic Forces. I did. Uh, I don't know what that's all about, like psychologically for me. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, El Cheapo. 
Wait, 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 wait. That we'll in fact could be it. <laughs> Of that director's cut on the census, on the CG census, I think there's 20 or 22 of them. There's not a ton of them graded out there. So it seems like a pretty a pretty cool book if you're into Moon Knight. And, and you know, David Finch, he is the modern Moon Knight guy. It just seems like a pretty smart a smart pickup. Um, That's certainly something people should be aware of. And uh, I just wonder what other director's cuts I'm not aware of uh, that I should already be aware of. I'll have to... Uh, Hope you investigate that, or uh, somebody does swiftly before they all disappear from back issue bins. <laughs> Good stuff, Ben. Um, Dino, what's next on our? Uh... Um, we got uh, we got some Ironheart stuff, and um, cool. do you want do you want to do the variants first? I guess is that what we want to do. All right. So if you're gonna put this one up, listen, Ironheart one. So this is not so so, so her first kind of title was that invincible iron man title where we're shoot you know this one right here and then this was pretty well ordered right a hundred thousand ish right this was pretty well ordered and this book's getting kind of hot right now if anybody knows me i love the second print of this because i can't fucking find it i hunted it for years i found two um but that book that dino put up if there was a sleeping giant of comics it is this jen bartell Ironheart number one. And here's the fucking reason why. Ironheart had 40,000 copies ordered by retailers. 40,000. There's 2,000 comic shops. That means on average they ordered 20 copies each. This is a one in 50. This fucking book almost doesn't exist. Like, this is a fucking sleeping giant, in my opinion, because Bartel, her books go nuts. And like, there's not that many of these out there, period. Stop, stop writing things down at the bottom of the screen down there. <laughs> uh, I like taking notes. Uh, take this, notes. If you see this book out there, buy it because it's fucking awesome. And there's not, and I would say, any of the ratio variants. Dino, I think you've got a few more here. Yeah, any of the ratio variants on this because there's 40K. I love this one. This is a, only a one in 10, but on 40K, it's still not a common book. I, I, I love don't see these. I mean, I look at a lot of long boxes. Uh, I love this cover. And I, don't see it. Um, I love this one. And I, there may be one more in here yep, as yep, well. Yep. I forget what we put in. Oh, and this is the second print. There's eight, seven or eight on the census. Yeah, I like, cashed out on this one like a dumb dumb. Like uh, does it? Right. I, I, I cashed oh, out oh. like a dumb dumb. I thought I that I was smart. There's. Uh, I believe one nine eight for sale on eBay, and I think the asking price is two k. So here, here's a here's a thing. Here's Ooh, so Lord of mercy. There's a set right now of Ironheart one, the one in fifty, and there's a Hans. There's a Hans. Uh, there's another one, and uh, it's going for two hundred and nine dollars right now, and it's just raw. It's not. It's not That's um, interesting. That's an interesting. Yeah. That's an interesting uh, listing. We'll and see if there, it make. We'll see if it makes it to Sunday with <laughs> morning with uh, yeah. these guys on the podcast. Well, the <laughs> one in it's got to be rare for whatever reason. That cover doesn't do as much for me for whatever reason. I don't know what it is, the angle, like. It, but it, you know, definitionely, I think it's a tough book. But and there, what's funny this guy is selling for uh, now on eBay? Can you get one for less than two hundred bucks? What this the second here? Yeah, Larry. So he's got one for 38 bucks. I was just talking, you know, Larry's comics shipped. So if anybody wants one, he's got one right now on, and he was selling them for like 150. Time out. Wait, wh where, where do I have to go to get it? Instagram, Larry's comics. Uh, well, that so, was, uh, we'll see if that one makes it. So here's, might... another, here's another interesting story or interesting fact. There's a, there's a seller out there with a nine, eight of the previous book and he yeah. wants, Four hundred and twenty-five dollars for it. I think that's. I mean, I, I don't drop that kind of money on comics, which I sounds like a pussy, but I think that's a pretty good buy. Jen Bartel books, the Gwenpool Jen Bartel, right? Issue number twenty-five. It wasn't even a ratio. There's probably four or five. That thing's selling for a hundred bucks. On, I mean, raw. Like I think. Yeah, I believe you because I know you crunch the numbers. Um, you know, as far as covers go, I love that Decal variant. I think it's gorgeous. Uh, I've got one. It'll stay in my PC uh, because it's so good. 
Um, but it has to be more common than uh, a lot of these uh, from the second. Yeah, it's a beautiful cover, but there was a hundred K of those. Okay. Everybody ordered, because that's a one that in 25. Was, everybody one in 25. ordered 25. There right? we go. Everybody ordered 25 of those. So, like, it's a great book. Like, don't get rid of it. Like, it's still super, I think it has a huge potential. But but some of these are fucking really, like, you know, like. And this Here was, comes Riri. You know, this was after, you know, FOC showed up, right? I was doing some research on the, all this diamond dump stuff. The whole FOC thing came out, you know, five uh, five years ago uh, to sort of cut that back for Diamond to have to make guesses on how many books people were going to be ordered. So this stuff's all post that. So I don't I don't think they're going to be puking a ton of this stuff out there. Like that book just, you know, just didn't get a ton of interest. So um, uh, let me ask you this one too, Ben. Um, you know, I, I think one of the hardest things that I have and, uh, you know, obviously Steve, uh, Jessup, you know, I, I'd appreciate your insight as well. It's hard for me to kind of gauge uh, rarity, uh, you know, how many uh, copies of the book were distributed, ordered, whatever, theoretically exist, um, and sort of balance that between, um, well, the art's meh, or the art's good, but it's not exceptional. Uh, it's just such a tough balance to sort of gauge um, how people are gonna respond, how buyers are gonna respond, and then kind of like uh, how they're going to respond emotionally and spend their dollars, not just now, but like six months, 12 months, 18 months in the future. Do you guys have uh, any kind of rules of thumb or um, sort of thoughts about how you do that? I mean, do you just kind of do it intuitively or? Yeah, uh, I mean, our, our art is intuitive for me. Like there's no, I like to quantify things, but you can't quantify art really, right? Does it speak to you or not? Right. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat too. I, uh, I'm an art guy, but I'm on the, I'm on the, th on the, on the kick of people doing things differently than they usually do. And I, and I say like, uh, like a Campbell, the, the lizard variant for Campbell, he doesn't do that many dudes. You know what I'm saying? It, I think it's, it's a rare stuff like that. I mean, if Campbell does the same thing over and over again, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, he might hit, hit one out of the park, but I'm, I'm that guy who, who, you know, like Sing Events in that Moon Knight variant, like it's a rare book, obviously, but I mean, Sing Events in Moon Knight, I mean, it's just a badass cover too. I mean, it's, you know, it, that, that's my, that's my kind of gig on it, I think. I mean, it, and like I bought, I bought a Captain Marvel, the Casada variants when they first blew up the, the, the blanks, the, uh, the, the no trade dress on them, the Virgin. I gotcha. Yeah. And I, and I, and I sold those for 645. I, I, I turned them around and, and walked them on CGC and like, was one of the first guys to sell them. I bombed them at six forty five or whatever, or whatever the first sale was. So, I mean, yeah. uh, I think it goes back to you know knowledge is is power. So, you know, I, I do a lot of uh, re research. You know, before I, you know, if I have time to prep for a sale like a a variant sale, you know, a couple years ago, um, you know, and I, I had my list, and one of those that was on there. This this had to be three or four years ago. Was the She Hulk uh, Sia Ohm uh, variant, and and I found it, and 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 I am not a fan of that cover. I I don't think it's great. I'm not sure what other people see in it, and that's you know the subjective part of it. So I was glad to just you know quickly flip it and move on, and it's you know kind of stayed in the yeah. same area. Um, I, but I, I was just thinking. Um, you know, I, here here's two pickups where it's like, I, you know, sometimes you you've you've got to sort of have a feel for what might get hot. So like this right here, um, this is all new, all different Avengers, right? Yeah. Hold um, on, buddy. Number two. Go. One second. There you go. Yeah. Um, all new. Is that all one or zero, Steve? What's that? Is that number one or zero? It's number two, actually. Hold number on, two. I'll take it out. I'll take it out. Um, but I, I don't, so I was just going through and I'm like, this looks interesting. And I, um, it still doesn't look any better, but, um, <laughs> but I mean, look, you, you've got Kamala, you've got miles, you've got Nova, you've got Ironheart, basically the next generation of Avengers. I mean, if you're counting Sam as cap and, um, and Jane as, as Thor, right. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is something where I'm not going to list it yet, 
um, you know, I'm going to let it sit and, um, and, and, and hopefully, you know, you real quick, I think you, make, you touched on a very good point there. Can you just hold that cover up real quick? Sure. Again? And I've got one more to show as an example. So Marvel has been doing this for a long time. Nova, Miles, Kamala, right? I mean, yep. the, the, uh, um, the champions number one, one, one hundred, why maybe, maybe one of the most classics. So I've been saying this for a while. This book here, based on anything I can research, this is the first time these three characters showed up on the same cover together, wow. right? And okay. Marvel's been pushing it for a while. And this is a second print, which is, you know, I don't even know why the fuck they printed a second print of this book. <laughs> um, I look for Nova second prints. I've found zero copies of that one. This one, I think. You know, it, I think that could become a thing where people start collecting because there's a lot of books where it's these three, a lot, like more than a lot. So mm -hmm. like this book is, I, I found two of these second prints in, in for cover and back issue bins mm -hmm. just recently. I would be grabbing these left and right, you know, if you see them, even the first prints because Nova wasn't, you know, wasn't a huge print run at that point in time. But I, I bet you they do oh. an anim, I bet you they do an animated series with those three. So another, another second print where, you know, I'm like, I don't, uh, you know, this this was before, you know, second prints were cool, right? Um, this yeah. I, I call this pre pre ultra Maximus era second print, right? Um, and you know, I know a lot of people were talking about Kang being like the big bad of the MCU in Phase Four. It, uh, unfortunately, it's not looking that way, right? It's he's maybe he's just a villain and. And Ant Man, what are they calling it? Multiverse Mania? No, Quantum Mania. Quantum Mania right? or something. But you know, I never, see, I've never seen this before. What is the, that, Steve? Help, help me out. That's Avengers. Avengers. I think it's the 2010 series number one, second print. I, that's a list of books I've never seen before. Yeah, so and I never saw it. So, so yeah, sometimes when you're you're digging, you. You know, part of it is like I've said, preparation, but then part of it is just thinking about, you know, what what you haven't seen before, and knowing that, hey, Kang's, you know, going to be getting some attention in the near future, and then, you know, any any cover that has, uh, you know, Kamala Khan, Miles, uh, you know, Sam Alexander, you know, it's, you know, is is probably a good bet. Yeah, I try to dig at least once a week if I can. Don't do it all, you know, don't do it every week, but I Practice try to. Practice perfect, right? Absolutely. And, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, like a, a baseball player, like who's seen a ton of pitches. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just want to see as many books as I can. So when I see things that I'm like, oh, well, I've never seen that before. I, sometimes I just pull the trigger. I, you guys still continue to surprise me with the stuff that you find. It's awesome. Um, all right, moving right along. Holy crap! I got um, I got Steve. I got is it Secret Two? Is that what you want? To talk, you want to talk about that page? Sure, or? I'll talk about that. Okay. Yeah. So um, you know, I know uh, I'm a DC guy waiting in a, a Marvel territory, but um, I, I did my homework for Secret Invasion. Um, you know, with <laughs> the upcoming dope. series. Um. And like uh, like a lot of smart people say, um, including smart people on, the, on this uh, show, read the books. So I, I I broke out Secret Invasion, read issues one through eight, and I'm like, because I have multiple copies and variants, and I'm trying to figure out, okay, what's worth holding on to, what's worth, uh, you know, just selling now, and mm -hmm. reading just one through eight, I don't know that there's a whole lot of spec value in there. Of course. I think Secret Invasion One, even though it was way overprinted, um, people will be seeking that out. Um, but the only thing I really found there, now, I do realize that in the MCU right now, the Cree and the Crees and Scrolls are swapped, right? The Crees look like they're the bad guys. Scrolls look like they're the good guys. Who knows what happens if it's a head fake? But I could see this. This is the final page of secret invasion two and it's the first appearance of the scroll avengers um cool. now how exciting is that how much do i believe in this you know i think it's probably if it happens at all it's going to be like a 24 hour 
pop, right? It's going to be like Cap lifting Thor's hammer, right? That 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 lasted about forty eight to seventy two hours, right? Um, so I didn't see a whole lot reading the Secret Invasion mini proper, and I know there's a million you know one shots and everything, um, but those those eight books, not a whole lot to spec on. Um, some of my other takeaways from from reading that spec wise is it seemed like to me that um, stature right um, Ca Cassie Lang right did I get the name right you got yeah yep yeah. uh, you know she plays a pretty big role no pun intended um, in, in the uh, in the book um, yeah why I didn't have a, cast I don't have a you know why that. they cast the actress for that in. I mean, we already had uh, an adult Cassie Lang. They recast her for for, for, for going forward, right? I, might... I think so. No, I think... I'm, I'm I'm certain because I've I've seen it. She's a, she's blonde, <laughs> right? Yeah. George, anybody anybody know why why they did that? Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But um, and then the other uh, observation, um, it seemed like Marvel Boy or Marvel Boy. You know, played a pretty big role in Secret Invasion, and I know that heated up a while back. I can't remember. I think it was, it was some book where there was a bunch of shadows. You know how Marvel likes to. Which Marvel boy is it? The. Uh... Um. Uh. Shame on me for not knowing the characters' names, but we're talking about the one that was in the miniseries. That there's a yeah. dynamic. So there's a dynamic forces yeah. variant for that. Yes. Right, which I've yet to find and have been too cheap to buy. <laughs> El cheapo, um, right? Yeah, but that's not an easy book. That Dynamic Forces variant. That's a cool. That's a cool spec. Yeah. So after reading it, you know, my takeaway was, you know, maybe hold on to a couple ones as it draws near. I've I've already sold two number ones nice. um, since the announcement, and you know, I think I'm probably going to go ahead and 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 sell the sets. Um, because I just didn't see a whole lot that like, oh my, oh my gosh, this is going to heat up a lot. I think part of it is, you know, not knowing if the scrolls are really going to be the villain in secret invasion. Another part of it too, is a lot of that story hinges on, uh, spider woman and Jessica drew. And unless Sony and Marvel cut another deal, uh, we probably won't see that. And then, you know, I think it's a lot like, um, not sure uh, who mentioned it in our, our hangout earlier this week. You know, Civil War, right? The, the M M MCU Civil War very loosely followed the comic Civil War. Mm -hmm. We never really, you know, you can make a nice buck on selling the Civil War sets even to this day, but it, you know, it's it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna pull. It's probably not even gonna break, you know, three figures, right? So. The most one of the most tragic things I've ever heard a retail shop owner say to me was when he pointed at like I don't know six long boxes and he's like, "That's all of the Secret War or a Secret or um, Civil War books, every single one." It was my favorite series. I I I, I collected them because I think they'll be worth more money in the future. Yeah, no, um, it was so dark. I was just like. I'm gonna go over here now. According to um, according to the interwebs, uh, yeah. the the Cassie Lang recast was due to again, this is speculation. Announced that uh, Newton is a rising star in Hollywood. Um, it could be that Marvel wanted somebody with a bigger bit of a bigger name to play Cassie moving forward in the MCU. Um, finding a bigger star to play a character who could have a big MCU feature is the best explanation for Marvel's decision to recast Cassie Lang. Although, okay. although in some instances of recasting, scheduling can be an issue, but there's no evidence to suggest Furm Furman was too busy to align her schedule to work on Ant-Man 3 at some point in 2021. So, Ouch. That Oops. is, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you, if you it's hard for when you, when you have somebody in that role, if, if it's a bigger role and it's, a, you know, it's like, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like. I mean, she only showed up in that one scene where he came home and she was crying in the doorway, right? I mean, I think right. that was yeah, that was really it. I right? have zero shot of being. Had you not told me, because I didn't apparently read it anywhere, I would have never known. Hey, I, hey, I'm deep in the interwebs, man. Right, but I mean, I just would have been like, <laughs> oh, look, she's back. I'd have thought they were the same people. Nothing. 
Um, yeah. Do we want to move on to now? I, I got a couple of these. I got the Iron Man nine enters, like all the inner stuff. Do we want to yeah. talk about that? Yeah, I want um, to talk. There, there, there's some debate about this. If you don't mind, just yeah. So, like, right, right now, um, Iron Man nine, right? Supposedly, the first full of Riri is heating up. Um, versus like seven, there's a debate, right? Is it is it issue seven? Is it issue nine? So, so what you got right here? This, and we'll just go through this quickly. The there's three pages, I believe, in issue nine. This one. The next one, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then one more, and that's her in the armor. And, and this is what's supposedly sort of the first full. I don't know, man. I, I, this these debates exhaust me a little bit. Right. I, I really think in modern comics, it's not. If if you want to capture a character's sort of emergence, it's a couple of books. It's not just about one or the other. It's not like I gotta have this one or that one. Um, if you go one more, uh, Dino, I think I may have put in the um, her parents in issue number seven in here as well. Yep. So th this was her her parents in Iron Man number seven, right? She's mentioned. She's in a couple of panels. She's down there working on the armor in short shorts. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I mean, you know, this is a pretty good appearance in its own right. So, like, this debate on what's a full, what's a cameo. I don't know. I, I don't even like having the conversation. I think if you want to play Riri, mm -hmm. I think you want to have seven and nine. You got to have them both. It's not like one. It's not either or. It's both. Agreed. Um, I, don't, I don't like getting in those de debates either. And, uh, you know, I always uh, posit the theory of a, a spectrum of first appearances because, yeah, you can slice and dice these things so many ways. Uh, you know, first cover and first mm -hmm. Uh, speed, you know, first with dialogue, first full body, first arm, you know, we've seen with Jessica Cruz. So, um, yeah, yeah well, I, nine I, is not that substantial. What's that? Nine's not that substantial. It's not like it's a whole book. No, I mean, she's still a cameo by almost her? every definition, George. She's a, that's a cameo in that number nine, right? Yeah. And so, and I don't, I'm not hating on either book, I love them both, but I, I. Yeah. I think like you gotta have them both if you wanna if you wanna own Riri, if you will. Seven and nine have gotta come together, I think. In my yeah, opinion. but I mean at the risk of and the other thing that I guess this as soon as I see the cover, it reminds me is seven's cover. a fucking horrible cover. It is. <laughs> all fucking horrible. Like these covers all terrible. Well, only... nine is at least uh, a suit, right? Like it's at yeah. least an Iron Man suit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think if like Seven had the Iron Man suit, uh, and Riri her, looks good in that cover, though. Yeah, and and Riri in a corner or like in a little round box in the third print. But I'll say, this, book, I'm not gonna say Marvel, Marvel story, but like this one says featuring the first put, appearance of Riri Williams, right? Well, but what if they would have put Riri's head in the 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 uh, round circle over MJ's head? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Right? Is that MJ or Pepper? I don't know who it is, but it's horrible. Right, she's got red hair. Uh, it's anyway. terrible. Um, and it's, and she has the missing tooth that appears too. It's horrific. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Listen, I I, 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 I think it's a great book. Like I think it's a terrific book. I think this is a great book, but for me, it's like you almost have to have them both. You know what? You know, Tony Stark has uh, that like great armor. You figure he used it to fix your teeth, right? <laughs> <laughs> the man built a heart in a cave on uh, in Hollywood, like on a Hollywood soundstage. He could at least provide her with some Fucking reasonable, and necessary dental care. <laughs> okay, uh, let's Our industry does not offer dental apparently. Okay, so I'm moving on. And I don't know Scooby Scooby Doo. We're moving on Scooby Doo now. So right, um, this was. Um, this Something is cool, dude. That I'm I excited found. to talk about it. Yeah. So, I mean, there, there's two people in the world that I, I think would have found this. And one would have been Topher because, you know, I mean, Mr. True first. But, and the other one is Robert Fordham, who's got to be the biggest Nubia fan that I know. Yeah. Um, and, but this is a book that, uh, you know, Nubia only had, uh, you know, I guess prior to this future state, maybe four appearances or maybe, maybe, you know, less covers. Um, but um, 
I, I was going through my Scooby Doo team up uh, issues, you know, my 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 big massive collection of those, and uh, <laughs> I I opened this up and uh, happened to see uh, that uh, who do we have but Nubia in this uh, story, Sweet. and um, what's uh, what's really uh, um, you know, this is an interesting book for a couple reasons. One, you, you I guess um, I, I didn't uh, show the um, full panel, but you also get to see Velma and Daphne in um, in uh, Amazon type uh, costumes, um, which which is really strange. Um, and the second thing is that Shaggy attempts to step on. Uh, Paradise Island, and and Wonder Woman stops him um, from uh, from uh, you know a man setting foot on the island, um, but she, Wonder Woman solves that by putting uh, Shaggy and Scooby. I'm not sure where Fred was, but uh, put Shaggy and Scooby on um, on ca on uh, ju on the uh, uh, Jumpa. You know, Jumpa is Wonder Woman's pet kangaroo, I think. Um, uh, but it might be a camel in the book. I wish I'd screenshot that as well. So there, there's got there's at least two or three reasons to own this book, but uh, <laughs> but really the uh, the the main one is this this is a rare Nubia appear appearance, um, and Good stuff. yeah. <laughs> so if anyone's looked, you know, really big um, on Nubia and Future State, I I, I saw the March solicitations. I'm not. I'm not sure if they're doing with anything with Nubia beyond uh, Future State uh, into March, but um, it's just one of those you know interesting books that'll show up on um, everyone's favorite app in a, in a week as uh, you know Nubia appearance, uh, Nubia appearance. So, and there is a newsstand for this one as well. I, I don't have the newsstand. Where the hell are you gonna get the newsstand? A time machine. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have uh, so I think this is issue five and Teen Titans Go um, Scooby Doo team up was issue number four or six, and I have that from a newsstand because these were um, some of the uh, rare DC books that Barnes and Noble or Borders was still I, well I guess Barnes and Noble uh, was was still carrying. Uh, back in the day, you know, as appealing to kids, Scooby Doo team up. So, oh, for sure, that's all. That's mostly what they carried were kids books and like right. the top top three right. DC. But uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about about that one. Now that I've you know totally taken the momentum out of the show <laughs> for a rare no. movie appearance, but no, you didn't. I, you know, it's funny. I was trying to find it online. Um, I'm doing a horrible job at it. The panel, I think I can grab it, but I looked at Scooby Doo team up, but it didn't have that one. Yeah. And five, it was weird. It had a different five. So maybe, yeah. What happened is I think they did digital first and okay. then they, uh, and then they, it was digital first in two parts and then the two parts they put out as a single comic. Yeah. I wait. I know way too much about this. Yeah, okay. how the hell did you know that? All right. <laughs> uh, that's wild. Hey, let's Every time on. I think Steve can't get any smarter, he's smarter. <laughs> let's go to let's go to this. Uh let's go to um Justice League quarterly number three. Okay, so this is one of mine as well. So um th this might have a little bit of a a wider audience. So, um, so this, I got a bunch of justice league quarterlies in a collection and, um, you know, I was, I was reading through them, seeing if there was anything, you know, speckable in them. And, uh, I come upon this page. Um, do you know if you could advance it? Yeah, I got you. Um, oh, I'm like, I remember like, that. Is that Wolverine. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> And you know what? It actually is Wolverine in a DC book um, w without permission. And to give you a little bit of background about this, in this Justice League quarterly, um, the... I, I remember when this happened. What's that? I remember 
remember when this happened. It was like a big deal. Oh, real? Okay, was it? Because I wasn't aware of it. But yeah, it back in the day, though, there's a team in DC in this issue called the uh, Champions of Angor, but they're also known as the Assemblers. So they're the analog to the Avengers. And then there's also the extremists who are the analog to the masters of evil. Um, so when they travel to the extremist and assemblers world of Angor. Let's do a better, let's do a better photo here. Uh, give me one second, boys. Look at this boy. Okay. Yep. So yeah, when they travel to that world, they're miniaturized. I think that's uh Kilowog and some other character. Um, um, so they're, they're uh, like Ant-Man sized and they're viewing this. Um, and so then I went, you know, I was trying to pull some more screenshots for this. And the really interesting thing is uh, that I came upon that surprised me was, do you know if you want to advance uh, one more? Uh, oh, one second. Let me go back. Sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, is that uh, um, the, the next panel you mean? Yeah. Yep, or the uh, the next screenshot. This one? Uh, no, the, uh, no, the next, uh, the one I sent in the hangout. But oh. it, it's a screenshot of DC Universe online. Oh, so I, I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, the, I'm the lone subscriber to that service, as as Nico likes to point out. Um, I'll get and, it. And uh, that gives me access to read a lot of stuff digitally for a, a low monthly payment. Um and the only issue of Justice League Quarterly, yeah, there you go. So there, there were 17 issues of Justice League Quarterly. There, as you can see, there's a gap between issues two and four. Number Whoa. three is not there. Yeah, so, see, I, re I remember this yeah, because I was a kid and I had a Capital City account or a Diamond account of Capital City had already closed, but I think I had a Capital City account. And I remember, like, and I don't know if it was a big thing, like, in the Wizard Magazine or, you know, Comic Buyer's Guide or whatever the hell was out at that right. time. But I just remember, like, getting the solicitations. I would, you know what I mean? Like, the right. the news leaks and crap. Yeah, that's very cool, Steve. You just sent yeah, me down a know. great nostalgia road. Hey, Steve, yeah. can, I, can I riff on that for a little bit? Sure, yeah, please. Because that's, you know... The, the, DC did a, did a similar thing in this book right here, right? So this is uh, DC, you know, Batman, Superman, annual number one. And in this issue, Deadpool shows up and Deathstroke keeps killing him fucking over, <laughs> over, over and over again. That's excellent. And it's nice. so goddamn funny. Um, but like, it, it's quite generally Deadpool in here. He's dressed, you know, a lot more like um, oh, that's wow. broke, but it's Deadpool. I mean, there's you can you can tell you know as clear as day, and it's fucking funny as hell. I'm not sure how many people know about this book. Yeah, I wonder if it's up on DC Universe or if that's yeah. been pulled as well. Or yeah, get Dead the joke that basically, you know, yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, is, that's true. You know, my favorite thing to do to piss people off on the internet is. Is I'll say, listen, man, Deathstroke is such a fucking ripoff on Deadpool. I can't believe, and people go nuts. Oh, they go, hey, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just playing, obviously, right, the other right. way around. Yeah, but like people go crazy, like go crazy about that, right? Because I mean, you unique know, character design Wolfman is a complete right play on on Deathstroke, right? Oh, but, uh, absolutely. I apologize for those comments, Ben. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go justice league quarterly three unavailable online i don't know if it's ever been reprinted so if you really want an appearance of wolverine in the dc universe um uh, the first appearance. Appearance. wait a second yeah. it, 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 listen, it's officially not on the online but if unofficially it's online it's, you know talk to talk to your man right good stuff uh, are we done with the slides? Yes, we are. We can talk right, about whatever so we want. We're like almost, we're like the hour market flip side. So we can talk yeah. about whatever we want to talk about. Yeah, this is good. So here's the real question. Uh, did you guys buy anything? I did. Should Dino I go first? Went, yeah, yeah. This is, this Dino's back buying comics. I this never thought terrible. it was going to happen. This is terrible. I thought I was going to have to endure baseball card bullshit for the rest oh. of my life. <laughs> those days hey. are over. 
I went to this place that had baseball cards too. I should have bought on the eighteen. I should have bought some. Should have bought some. Saw saw good deals. Um, I, I bought. Um, so I think it was actually on the playbook. Um, little Spider Woman. Uh, Omega. So I'm uh, just holding on to these boys. So this is this one, and then oh, let's see, Alpha. The Alpha. Yeah, oh, the Alpha females. So I got these for five bucks a piece. So I couldn't beat that. So I was like, oh, yeah, that variant's untouchable. Uh, and it's like three hundred and fifty slabbed, and you can't buy raw copies on eBay, and it's been like that for like twelve months. It's annoying as hell. So this one's nine eight. So I'm gonna send it in. I think um, I bought um, two of these boys. Um, so this is uh, let's see. So we got a little X Wing Rogue Squadron. I, I hear again. Uh, Steve tells me it's it's not, but it's okay. Uh, I heard from a source it's a hundred bucks, but you know Steve says it it could be like fifty. I don't 50. know. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know. Um, Steve's one, right. One Star Wars experts are wrong. Yeah, one's a nine eight and one isn't, so I don't know what to do there. Um, so I slab them. Do I well, wait? Do I hold? Here, here's what I like about that book and the other X Wing books. They're the only Star Wars books you can still find. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like all of the other ones are gone. Well, wow, people no. left those ones behind. You know, uh, and I say that, and then we 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 come to oh boy, another one. I, I, I pull these out like. This is uh this is like Michigan. This is all in Michigan, baby. You don't want to see me. Uh, so this guy's told I I got this. I'll, I'll tell everybody. So I got this for um. He said guide was one eighty. Um, he goes I'll sell it to you for like one twenty or something. But I bought all these other books, so this came out to be like seventy five bucks probably at the end of the day. So nice. like, what guy? What guy is he going by? That's um, what I wanted to know. <laughs> I was like, I was like, well, let me, let me, let me grab some more stuff. So this is uh, Thrawn number one. So nice. I could have ever thought that we'd be able to sell Thrawn books, dude. Oh, you never know, man. You told me. I, I, I remember buying Thrawn ones and being like, I'm gonna regret this, and buying so, like a couple of them. And then, uh, uh, Mister uh, Ben S on the hot ten. Anything Darth Maul, right? Anything Darth? It's, it's, it's over. So uh, uh, pretty much. I mean. You're not going to lose money. Yeah, and then uh, I just bought some bullshit. I just threw this in there because you had them in there. I was like, some Darth Vader books. You know what's funny? So I'll, I'll give you guys the story. So he had a stack of comics like down like this. And then basically all I saw was um, this side. So I'm like, what's all those over there? He's like, some guy wanted me to pull all these Star Wars books. So he's like going through these. And then all of a sudden I see that he, he opens up this, uh, this dark folio. And he has an Heirs of Empire 1. I'm like, oh, I got some big boy books here, I guess. And I'm like, yeah, I guess I shouldn't have said that. And then he goes, yeah. Uh, he goes, how about 120? And then I got all those books for like uh, 100 and, 150 bucks. So he hey, basically, buddy. yeah. So basically he's like, yeah, dude, I'll just give it all for 150 bucks. I'm like, I mean, I think he's, um, I don't think he has a museum. I think he's all about pushing books, which is nice. And I, I go back to him because he's like, and he, he was a really good dude, dude. He's like, if you're looking for something, just hit me up on Facebook, and uh, you know, then I'll, you know, I guess somebody was looking at for Batman four twenty three, a couple guys, and got those books for him. I get, I don't know if they're nine eighty, but some guys were looking for them. So, um, that's all I got. Um, I showed off. Oh, I put it away. Um, I got a new box, so I put it away. Um, so I think I think that's it for me. Ben, did you pick up any books? No, I'll show some books here. I don't know what the shit I picked up is all over. But you know what? I'm not a DC guy, but I, I grabbed this Wildcats number one newsstand because, you know, DC seems to be pushing Grifter and, you know, what the fuck? It seems like a good play because... Is that Jim Lee? That's Jim oh, Lee. Yeah. That's so. Jim Lee in his prime, baby. Image newsstand. Yeah, Shit, so. I remember when that book was on the newsstand. I was the <laughs> happiest kid in the world. Oh, man, I know. There's, there's uh, got to be a gazillion of the, of the directs and maybe a half gazillion of the newsstand. So yeah, I grabbed that. I'm trying to remember. Cause I, you know, again, I was like buying crap from um, capital city when all that stuff happened. But then, you know, I was a kid. It wasn't like I was smart about my ordering. Right. I would, I was still going out and buying crap off the newsstand. And I'm trying to remember how common image was in my area on the newsstand. I feel like the drugstore had it. But the actual newsstand didn't carry image. I don't it know what you're rare. I, mean, I, I was a newsstand kid. Like whenever I missed a book at my comic share because I wasn't smart enough to order ahead, I'd go and I'd go and find it at the local pharmacy or something like that. So um, I mean, the book that sticks in my head 
completely for that was uh, ASM 361 with Carnage, right? I remember going grabbing that off the spinner rack because uh, they they were completely sold out of my at my LCS. So yeah, and Ultra to his credit uh, reminded me. I I don't know how the fuck he remembered this. He must be older than he looks. Uh, or I was just not really that observant as a child. I can't remember which, but um, I think we're the same age. I didn't remember that the newsstand books came out a couple weeks later until he mentioned it. You remember like you, like the books would come and then there would be like two weeks and then you'd get the newsstand version. I, I don't think it was quite two weeks. I, I want to say like it was Wednesday for, <laughs> I'm not going to remember yeah. the exact dates here, but I, I remember going, because you know, you know, I was so dumb as a collector as a kid. I thought they all came out on Saturday. Yeah, we um, all were, right? Right. And uh, and I remember going to try to pick up that carnage, and it was gone. And then I went to the local pharmacy, and they had it on the spinner rack. And I, and I remember. Do any of you guys remember that? I do, and, and dude, uh, kudos to you guys, because nobody nobody knew that then. Like, yeah, when we were kids, I, you know what I mean? Like, I vaguely at sort all. of kind of well, thought that, or but I might have thought that pe they all got released at the same time, but people just didn't buy them at the newsstand. So if it sold out, I could still go to the newsstand later and find it. Or I don't know. That was That's a hard to have a poll at 12 years old because I didn't even know that was a thing. And I would ride my bike to the a long ways to a comic book shop to buy books and it, 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 sometimes they'd be gone and uh spinner racks i mean i even i guess even back then like i didn't want a beat ass some kid folded everything over to look what was behind it uh, dude jessup you know what i tell you man i m i had a buddy we collected with right all of his books had the fucking Spider-Man and mine had all the fucking barcodes. And I felt like the biggest fucking tool because he was picking them all up at the comic shop and I was picking yeah. them up off the spinner rack. And I felt like the biggest asshole. Like he's got, you want, you wanted that Spider-Man head on it or. Yeah. Cause I thought that was it, man. Like who the hell wants this barcode? That just looks stupid. Right. So like, oh, that's yeah. funny. That's true though. It makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I, I feel like once I went the local comic shop route, I, I never went back to newsstand. And I, I, I mean, I was lucky enough here in Baltimore, you know, on, on Main Street, like across from my middle school, we had a comic mm -hmm. shop. But I also had my my mom shuttling me. I think it was what every like you said, every Tuesday back then um, to uh, to Jeppy's Comic World um, and uh you know, now it's where I go pick up my diamond shipments and, you know, so it's, it's, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I think once I got into the direct comic shops, then I never picked up anything on the newsstand. I, I was the other way like, for me, like whenever I was a kid, I'd go place with my parents and I'd go find a bookstore for, and I'd go look at what comics they had. And like, it's amazing how many things yeah. I just picked off the spinner rack. Just I was the same way because I was a voracious book reader but my heart was always in comics, right? So, like, I'd go to bookstores, try to read, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but I'd always be like, I'm going to need to go over there, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, this is, to pick up, but this, this is a Moon Knight book that I love, right? This is a Stegman 1 in 25. Oh, wow. I mean, Moon Knight's got some stunning covers, let's be honest. But I don't know. This book near and dear to my heart it's not crazy expensive or anything i just think it's fucking awesome so that's nah, cool man i didn't uh, even know stegman did that variant that's a good one yeah so I, that, that, that's a good one oh, what else do i got here to tell? i haven't picked up that much stuff this week um i had some stuff here i wanted to talk about but uh you know real real, real quick um, both of these books are worth grabbing. You know, I love hip hops, right? I mean, there's no question about that. I love the hip hop variants. Um, these are both invincible, Iron Man. but the qualifiers for these were 250. I agree. Right? <laughs> I agree. You know, the, the, this one, the, this one's really hard. I don't know why. Um, there were both 250% of Iron Man 10 
um, which, was, which was a 50,000 ordered book, um, which means that you needed to basically on average retails, you know, you should have seen 125 of this. This book, I think, barely hit 100. Um, so a lot of a lot of stores didn't qualify for either one of these. But but this the, the, this this action figure variant is is nowhere to be seen. So I don't, know. I don't you... have it. Haven't seen it. Can't buy it. If I wanted to, uh, I should have already looked for it on eBay. My bad. I would go great if you see this out there. Pick it up. I mean, you can probably find it in for 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 five or six bucks. But I think it's it's nice. it, it's worth far more than that. And you know, people debate. You know, where does Ironheart show up? I'm more with Mel on this one. I mean, it says fucking Ironheart right on the goddamn cover of this book. People saying it's issue number three. I mean, I think I think they're sending you a message here that you know maybe it's she was called Ironheart in issue number one here, but that's just you know my take on the whole thing. I'll leave it at that. Good stuff. I've never seen that book. Yeah. And ever, I dig through a lot of books. <laughs> right. Uh, it's crazy. You, I just uh, happened to pick it up. One, it kind of looks yeah. the same a little bit at first glance, but it's Tony in the armor. It's 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 ridiculous, like how hard that fucking book is to find. Well, and nobody's talking about it. But. There there is one with Tony on the cover, and it, it is very confusing. I mean, and people should watch out on eBay that they're buying the right book too. Um, but 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 you're right, um, Mister Longshore, that. Uh, that uh, that the Ironheart one is the more difficult one to find, for sure. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, all right, who else grabs stuff? Anybody else buy? Who else the buyer this week? Uh, well, in addition to this, I'll, I'll go. In addition to this pickup, which I, I was happy to have. Um, so you know, mybargaincomics.com. We've done the um, guide to DC promo comics. Now I'm working on the uh, guide to Marvel promo comics. So what this in the actual fuck is that? That is a blockbuster video that. comic. Get the fuck out of here! To dude. make sure that kids I've got uh, fingerprinted, um, and uh, you know th that whole kidnapping type That's scare in the nineties. Yeah, and this is a full comic book. Um, you know, there's some creep in it who's trying to lure kids into his van or something like that. So we got that. Hold um, on, will you show that one more time for Carter to make sure he can see it? Sure. Check out check out this <laughs> check out this puppy. Blockbuster video. Be extra safe with the X-Men. Is yeah. that wild? Yeah. Hold on, hold, well, while Carter's here, Carter, in your next video, I want to see how many of these you can pull. Probably 12, knowing you, but right. Let, let, let's just see how many that you can pull in your next video, right? So because this, this thing ain't, ain't easy. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one. Yeah. You should grab it. You should definitely it's, grab it, man. Major problems when uh, the crook and uh, <laughs> the mercenaut haven't found them. We got major issues. I just want you to pull more romance <laughs> books <laughs> so I can end the conversation. <laughs> All right, Steve. Uh, All right. Sorry for my uh, improv. No worries. Well, sorry about that, Steve. Yeah. You can't go wrong with Batman the Red Death. Um, you know, this is always, you know, a good. $20 book, and then it spikes every so often when there's a rumor about him being a uh, villain on TV or the movies. Um, nice. I keep picking up copies of this one. I don't know with the Ant-Man movie if this is going to pan out, but um, we'll see. It's the first uh, uh, all-new, all-different Wasp. That's a, that's a good book. The one, in, the one in 50 of that thing, this one here, is yeah. a Anyone fucking go like, like yeah, I haven't seen that one. If you I ever see this one, one, grab it. The one right. that you showed is great. This thing is right, is gone. Like, yeah. Um, I always uh, have Milo like, Minara, yeah, right? dude, I don't have it. Next women, it, um, it, it, it annoys me that I don't have any. Yeah, I've actually passed it up before, but this time it was cheap enough. I was like, all right, I'll do because I, I think. Eventually, his heat up. Um, there's a lot of uh, Minara uh, covers out there that just don't get their due, and I, I'm not quite sure why. I mean, he's a controversial he, dude. Like, I would say the one of the more the cheaper ones. It's funny, and Steve, this is like just pure like 
coincidence. Like the, these yeah, are, you got. I love that you guys buy the. Uh, tangible I know where it's like we're going back and forth. No, no, but like the, so. So this the, this Angela from Guardians is relatively cheap, right? Right. And I think it's I think it's pretty stunning in its own right, but. Definitely. Yeah, I think he might have rubbed a few people the wrong way, but I, I think his covers are fantastic. But right, some of them are off the charts. Other ones are, are pretty accessible. The one you just showed, I don't have. That's a good one. Yeah, thanks. Um, this is a, a top. I, I don't know what the deal was. I know Top Cow did some variants for uh, Marvel back in the day, um, but this is a Top Cow Messiah Complex uh, Silvestri variant. I don't, not worth much, but you know who knows in the future. Yeah, that's cool, man. It's cool, yeah. Um, th th okay, here come the second, the second prints, pre Ultra Maximus era, second print. <laughs> come on, Pat, I'm ready. Oh, dude, yeah, I I love that that one. One. yeah. So fucking good. I yeah. Love that book every freaking yeah. shop I go into. I mean, all of them. I found zero copies. I and look at that one every time. And I know a lot of people look for the blue, right? The blue for the second prints. Well, here's a black. Uh, super, super, yeah, Superior Spider-Man 25. That's cool. This, yeah, this this is a second print. I didn't even um, know about that one. Nice. And, you know, it, it goes with the, the black in the cover. So, um, cool. yeah, this one goes for a pretty penny. Looks way better than the first print. Yep. Uh, Avengers Academy 20. This is someone help me out here. A first appearance of I can't even remember, but um, and Carter, I know White you know Tiger. This. There we oh, go. Thank you, White Tiger. The new White Tiger. The is it a female White Tiger? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. The daughter. Okay. Thank you. What's up, Carter? I didn't know Hip hop. Right. Hip hop and. Infamous Iron Man. I never see it, and I buy a Big lot. Big Daddy of Kane, color. right? Good reference. Well done, yep. sir. Yep. And then, uh, man, I'm a brother, and I didn't know that reference. Uh -oh. <laughs> Damn! Uh -oh. Damn! I'm out the club. Shame. Shame. Uh, we got this. Got option this week, so yeah, I looked for him, didn't find him. Popping. And well then done. I picked up. <laughs> then I picked up a whole bunch of bitter roots. Smart. Ooh, nice. These are these are really difficult to find, dude. The new um, the new Jack City one is like is like five bucks. It's it's weird that some of the the that, yeah. So that was after everybody saw the, the variant and they ordered the hell out of them. Yeah, right? I mean these these aren't even the movie variants. I mean just even some of the oh um, absolutely yeah. No, I, think, I think you're smart to be grabbing those, man. I I uh, I don't see Bitterroot books. I, I bought a ton of them right. early. And now it's like you got no shot. But with the success of um, Lovecraft Country, Bitterroot already being optioned and it being like a quiet option, I'm a buyer on Bitterroot. I think I got uh, one of the Bitterroot variants I picked up recently in my stack. Yeah, it's um, – yeah, I mean all of them are kind of scarce. I mean this – where was the, the – uh, I think it's a Fua Richardson did this cover D – and I know I think that might be the same issue that there's the David Mack for. Yeah, um, that's, that's really hot. But even even this one, you know, is very difficult to to find. There's not a whole lot listed on eBay um, besides my <laughs> besides this one you're looking at. And yeah, and it, yep. So um, that yeah, that's it for my pickups. Good stuff. Thanks, Jessup. Did you pick up books? I did. Um... And thank you for letting me be go before Carter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, he and I will go head to head. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> well, um, sorry to tell you the story. Um, I'll just go through it. I'll make it quick. Um, these are more like personal things. Um, good friend of mine um, was always chasing Fat Albert comic books. No spec in any of this at all. However, if you if you can find these, please, I will. I'll, uh, don't pay don't pay a lot of money for them, but send them to me, and I will pay you shipping. 
and everything else for them. Like they're, they're generally always beat up. Oh shit! Except for this guy. This guy is beautiful. Oh, that, um, is, that is awesome. Uh, I, I'm pressing him. Like I work with this guy. He knows Steve Jeppy. He knows uh, Mark Nathan. Like he used to work for Jeppy, and uh, really good friends with Mark. Shout out to those guys, man. Like uh, if you don't know who they are, look them up. You know, but I found this guy. The Whitman, the Whitman ones, I think, are harder to find. Uh, but this guy is gonna have a. Oh, oh, also these. Hold on a second. Nice. Do you guys remember on, on Fat Albert, they, they used to watch like a superhero cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember who the superhero was. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Was it Batman? No, 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 no. it wasn't. It was like a, it was, it was a he was native was a, to the. Wasn't it a uh, superhero version of Bill Cosby? Yeah. It was a, it, it, yeah. The Beetle. The uh, was uh, Brown Beetle. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, mean, I used to watch a show. I, I love that show, but <laughs> dude, I found some of those. All right. Uh, this this was a. Uh... All right. So I bought a PGX book graded. Oh. But I cracked it. Well done, sir. And, uh, I saved. I, I, I saved it. It was a nine. It was a nine four PGX. I know everybody poo poos on uh, PGX, but in my opinion, this cover is amazing. Yeah, and, you're great one. And I know my internet's shitty, and the fans going or whatever. I, I can't. There, there's one one flaw that I can find in this book, and it's in, uh, this corner right here. It just got crunched a little bit, but it's white. It's pressable. Let's see what I can do. Um, so I started to tell you guys earlier about the shop that I went to. I talked to Ben. So yeah, disorganized, crazy shop, like kind of a hoarder situation, whatever. So I go through all his books. He's, he's kicking me out. Uh, an hour and a half before he actually shuts down because he has something to do it's like, all right so i start like speed plowing through things uh he he kind of seemed hipped uh to what i was looking for anyways um but then i get over to like where his new books were and he had like three long boxes on the floor and he said oh i'm i'm sitting on the floor i'm petting his dog um <laughs> Just, just <laughs> hanging out. It's like, oh, those, those are like, yeah, you know, I, I knock thirty percent off cover because it's like back issue stuff. It's old stuff. It's like, all right. So I start flipping through. Man. I don't think it's, I don't think it's going for a ton. Nah, but I'm the one. <laughs> well, that's banger. Oh, I think there's more. Two. Oh. I knew it. I knew it. Oh. Good job, dude. Uh, that, was on, that, was, that was actually on the shelf. Well done. Uh, this is actually a half price folks pickup, but nice. Oh, that's good. Yeah, dude, you killed it. That's the first appearance, but I can't remember who. That's the droids, right? Uh, yes, the evil droids. No, no. no they, I think they were in a. No, the droids would have been in uh, Darth Vader three. They're on the cover, right? Oh, that's Darth Vader three. I'm sorry. Thank you. Was that Kylo Ren three? That's number one second print, right? Oh, okay. one second. That's number three. That's number three. All right. Well, the, I love it. All right, which one's that one? That's Kylo Ren four. It's four. I I just grabbed I, I grabbed anything Star Wars he had. 
because oh, Canaan one that's a first print another one I love it just a 30% off cover all these books um, yeah uh, all of these yeah Jesus Christ holy shit you got the six uh, this is a different shop the six um, is what a solid 125 150 dollar book these days. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Something around there, yeah. yeah. You, you know I don't sell shit. So um, good point. That's a good point. Uh this is a different shop, and uh shout out to uh Evan Taylor. If anybody knows who he is, I know he's he's on Discord and people love yeah, him. Buddy. Woo! He's a great dude, whatever. So I was uh at a shop in Columbus, Ohio, and <laughs> I don't think this is all of the books. Yeah, just this is there are a few, but so I'm in there digging, and he comes in with another friend of mine, <laughs> and I I notice him, and we say hello, <laughs> like hey, he's like, would you already pick out? Because I beat him there by 20, 30 minutes. Like, oh, I got all these books. And he's like, let me look at them. I'm like, all right, cool. He drops all of them on the floor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, and, and I'm not going to show them, but they're fine. Uh, um, the, the shop owner sees him, and he's a total dick. I, I can't stand him. I'm not going to say his name or anything like that, but... He felt so bad. Uh, he's like, I'll just buy them. I'm like, no, fuck you, dude. I, I still want the books. Like, I'll press them. It, it's it's not it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. he. I, I I really do love the kid. He's amazing. He's a great guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But fuck I'm you, you're not getting my books. I'll, I'll, I'll clean these <laughs> up, man. You, you know, you know, I know Evan. You know, Evan did that shit on purpose. So you just like, oh man, I guess you don't want to buy <laughs> For a hot second, I thought he did, but no, dude, he felt bad. He sent me a text, dude. I was Tuesday text. He's like, dude, I, I couldn't even sleep last night. Oh. I, I hear he does that with dinosaur bones all the time, dude. He like, had oh, I found this with this di extinct dinosaur. Well, they're all extinct, right? You know, this rare dinosaur fossil. And oh, oh, oh man. That's funny. Dude, my uh, kid loves some Oh, uh, he's the dinosaur guy. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, talked about him. We got to bring him on. Maybe we can drag him on. I'll leave that up to yeah. you guys. I've already brought it up to him. I said, hey, dude, I just want to – can I get you on an interview? Like, I've never interviewed anybody, but, like, I'll just sit and just pick your brain. He's like, oh, just Star Wars comics. I'm like, yeah, all right, that's fine. Sounds perfect, dude. Sounds right, perfect. Yeah. Hey, look, you should coerce that as the deal. Since you dropped all my books, now we got to do the Star Wars podcast. I probably shouldn't have talked about that while we were recording. How to manipulate our friend out <laughs> <Abby. laughs> that's, that's why I got put on probation with stuff like that. Sorry, management. Apologize. But anyways, that. yeah, dude. Great guy. And yeah, he dropped uh, everything I picked. Uh, that day, and it was cool. It was it, some Darth Maul variants and whatnot. He's like, "Oh, I, I, you, you don't want this, right?" And I think he's joking. And all of a sudden, they all fall on the ground, and the shop oh, owner's wow. like, <laughs> "And I'm like, no, oh, dude, I'm like I'm buying them anyways. I don't give a shit. Pick them up. Uh, Still on me. Good stuff, buddy. All right, is that the end of the haul? Got to save something for your own channel. I take it. I don't have a channel. Oh. <laughs> The the flips the uh, the Facebook page, Carter. I know you're not going to give us the full Monty, but we'll take what we can get. Okay, uh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to tell you about some book, a book that I am specking on. Uh oh, uh oh. It so we have, on. so we have Mace Windu number five. The the action figure variant. Now pick these up over the summer. I just noticed that there was a copy that sold for two, a raw copy that sold for like 240 just today. 
And it was like oh, auction. Oh. Now, here's the thing. There might be fuckery afoot because there were like $100 yeah. copies still available. But, you know, you know, just in case, just in case, just in case, just in case. Did, and then did it had a fire emoji in the listing? <laughs> you know what? I didn't notice the fire emoji, but... And then we have the greatest hits, those. the greatest hits variant. Nice. Exactly. So, um, ooh, killing ooh, the greatest window. Is now, there a greatest hits for number talk, five? Talk to me about this. Talk to me about this. Hello. What you know, what you know about this? Started this gangster shit. So we have Teen Titans Go number forty-one. What? Yeah. Did, did, do you notice who's on the cover? What's on the cover? On the yes. fucking thanks Carter gets. Okay, so we get so we have the first appearance of Pink X. This book is oh. hard as shit to find. It took me a month to find this. I <laughs> uh, picked it up this week for eh, like four bucks. Well done. Uh, nice. The last one that sold was well, the last one that was available was back in late November, so almost a month ago. And it that one sold for like I think forty to fifty dollars. So very nice. I, I I I love this book. Love 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 this book. Love this book. Smart. Wait, Carter. What? Twenty four. Forty one. Forty one. All right. Now here's a second I'm print for you. I, I I grabbed one of those last week. I think. Uh huh. Two. Yeah. So I know it's the pick around here with him and you see what I'm saying? Like I got no shot. So I noticed. The uh, vote Loki in the uh, in the cover, so I figured eh, the book doesn't go for a damn thing, but that's yeah. okay. That's a good pick, man. I, yeah. I missed that one. Uh, what the hell else? Oh, I found four. I found these this week, so I found oh. four copies. I believe one of these was a one of these was a dollar, a buckety buck. Banged them. Oh, All right. Ooh. Okay. All right. So we have this. Nice. I went to now, a shop today. They were trying to sell it for forty dollars. Fuck that. Kill that noise. Now, do you do you have any idea why I'm taking it out of the bag? Double any cover. The check for the Mark Jeweler. Right. What we got? What we got? Ooh. Fuck out here. He's a mutant man. He's not a real person. Nobody pulls books like it's it's not real. Fucking hell, man. This is made up. I don't have a life, so <laughs> this is this this is for me not having a fucking <laughs> life. Nice. Oh, come the fuck on. Gee, come on. All right, now this book. I love this. This is my favorite book of all time. Maybe, nah, not really, but I love this book. A thirty-year-old book now. Happy I remember birthday. buying that book. I remember as a kid. Yeah, absolutely, it was a Extinction, big deal. Extinction Agenda. Ooh, come on. To, uh, Executioner's Song for my childhood. I'm all about Extinction Agenda. Uh, that's what I'm about. That's what I'm about. Come on. I love it. Wow. I love it. Well okay. done. Killing me. All right. And what's next? What's next? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, look what I found today. Found this today. For oh, six nice. bucks. Found this for six. Is that Alex Ross? Yes. Both of, uh, I believe both of them are Alex Ross. Get the fuck. No, no, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. Alex Ross. Adam Hughes. Hughes. Yeah. Adam Hughes. Nice. Ross and Hughes. Ross and well Hughes. Done, dude. I I can't believe you found those. Ross and Hughes 2020. Wow. That's what we're talking about. He's punking us. This is not real. This can't be fucking and, real. And, all right. And for it's cover uh, price. An auto accident. Ross do you know Ross. how do you know how hard this book is to find? Yes, because I can't find it. I mean Yeah. <laughs> so America number 12. This is the final issue in the series. Joe Quinonez cover. I love it. <laughs> Got you God, for, uh, four buckety bucks, and I believe I believe I oh no 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 okay now when I went digging, I had this on my mind. I had this on my mind. Jedi Academy. Man, 
Jedi yeah. Academy. Jedi Academy. Wow. Jedi Academy. Yeah. Jedi, Academy. Yeah. Jedi Academy. Jedi Academy. Jedi Academy. What's good? What's good? <laughs> so I found. So this is what I had on the brain when I went comic book hunting today. And there we go. And that's my haul. I showed you what I was hauling on, what I was specking on, all that good stuff. Mwah. I'm moving to Cleveland. <laughs> uh, don't worry. He comes down around me just to make sure there's nothing left for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so things I did, uh, which will be far less impressive. Uh, my roommate was kind enough to pick this up for me. I loved the shtick by Kirkman. Uh, I thought it was a great sales pitch. It's not in a bag and board yet because Nico, I, that is, I, I think, like when when people do that, I, that makes the industry so much fucking fun. I love that book. Yeah, love, I'm gonna read it. Love it, love it. Can't wait. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, my roommate also kindly picked this up for me. Uh, talk to the guys at Hive Comics today. This is the retail variant for uh, crossover number two. Um, what was interesting, and I don't know if I was supposed to keep this under my hat or not, but Image indicated to them that uh, the artist uh, uh, helped me out. Um, what's his name? Uh, John Gallagher. That uh, the original art that had Image Comics in the spinner rack uh was not approved so they replaced it with the weird tales pulps hmm. uh which is infinitely better than a bunch of trash image comics in our spinner rack i was like that's <laughs> brilliant that yeah they just did a huge favor to uh everybody uh good job guys um i told steve i picked up this book all right uh, mel says there's like 50 copies i find that impossible to believe um, but it was a retail variant uh, hmm. by, <laughs> shame on me, I'm not going to remember the name of the uh, retailer, but it's the Jackie Robinson cover. I I, uh, I did good. I paid like 100 bucks for it. I think uh, the cheapest copy you can get now is 250 So um, good luck. I hope you guys do that well. Uh, $3, I buy them every chance I get. What's up with uh, that? What is it? Oh, you, Dave that Stevens. It's the Dave Stevens cover. It's the only Johnny Quest book that matters. Mm -hmm. And at the newsstand, were they all newsstands? I don't think so. No, I think yeah. that's uh, yeah. yeah, I think that's a, a, a legit rarity. Um, all right, so I don't know how to. I picked up a bunch of books in um, like a deal. Uh, suffice to say, if I paid five dollars a piece for these, then I'm telling you that I overpaid. Um, that was uh, GI Joe one hundred and fifty. Uh, Web of Spider Man. I need that. I need that. One eighteen. She gorgy. Uh, Bartman. I think this one I promised to my roommate. Uh, I think that was his. He just pulled it out of the box and was like, "I'll take that." Uh, X Force Eleven. Um, Ultimate Spider. Now this is stuff I picked up for. Uh, what, it's like four and a quarter. Second print. Nice. Nice. Uh, Five and a quarter, second print. That's Captain America 25. Uh, Dexter, one second print. Hmm. Can't wait for I the relaunch. The, can't wait for the relaunch of the TV show. Uh, again, this is all like four and a quarter. That's the Thrawn four, the Thrawn four, the Thrawn six, the Thrawn nice. six. Um, I had to pay like. 375 to three and a quarter for these. They're all the Dawn of the Jedi books. Nice. You know what I mean? We'll see how those go. Uh, then I paid a whopping six dollars for this one, which I think was a little much. Uh, a little much. Hey, really. did they know what that book was or no? Oh, nobody knows what any of this stuff is. Uh, <laughs> Ten dollars. Uh, but I think that one's a nine eight. I think that one's a nine eight. Uh, eight bucks. I think this one will be a nine eight after it gets pressed. Um, four dollars. Are you fucking kidding me? Love that cover. I mean, that cover is literally. Cla I mean, for four bucks, I was like, it's like perfect. I'm like, and what it's is a new scan, right? Yeah, I was like, what is happening right now? All right, thanks. Take that. 
paid a whopping four bucks for this one. Nice. I want that too. And we we're gonna trade for that. Three dollars. Was that three dollars? Uh, paid uh, three dollars. <laughs> Make sure to get that on the yep. screen so you can see the price tag. Oh, I don't know. Three bucks. Yeah. Uh, paid three bucks for these droids. Did they do anything yet? Not yet. Not yet. All right. No. Now, I, I talked to Carter uh, last week about um, some books, and I was like, I'm not going to pay that for those books. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to pay that for them. They're too much money. <laughs> I'll show you what the books are because I did go back and buy them. I couldn't handle it. <laughs> Blue Marvel number one. Wow. Diodato. Vengeance oh. number one. What? Mm. Hold on. ASM 300. And uh, a Star Wars one. Jeez. Uh, so they wanted $200 for this one. Uh, shoot, shoot party. Uh, they wanted... 400 for this one. She's not as pretty. Is she all right? We'll see the back. The front doesn't matter on that cover. Back looks better than the front. It needs press, though. Hold on. I'm like, I had to fucking change out the tape. It was a disaster trying to get these books out of there. Um, yeah, or don't. I mean, whatever. I trust okay. you. No, no. I mean, out of the shop. Like, <laughs> It was a disaster trying to get these books out of this shop. It took like a. It took like. I press uh, a lot of those books, dude. The back is the, where you, where you get fucked. That's pretty clean. That's nice. Oh wee. Yeah. That's nice. That's very That's nice. Right. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I did okay. Uh, we did okay. I promise. Um, bear with me. They wanted five hundred dollars for the Vengeance one. Basically, it was the Vengeance one that drove me back because uh, I've never seen one in the wild. I'm like, I'm not paying five hundred dollars for that book, Carter. It's not gonna happen. I'm not doing it. It's outrageous. It's uh, inhumane. It's, it's a uh, ghost, though, dude. I mean, it's it's like, right. I'm not doing it. Not not spending that kind of money. And then they wanted three fifty for the book that literally I've never had a nice copy in my entire life. Okay. So, uh, what do we got? That'll be five fifty, a thousand and fifty, fourteen hundred and fifty bucks for the stack of them. I paid nine hundred. Uh, All right. Nice. I was like, thanks, and done. Now I paid. Four hundred bucks for this next stack, okay? Ching. Oh, cha ching. Hold on, wait for it. Ching. As Avengers forty-seven and forty-eight, uh, Avengers fifty-three, a uh, Star Trek one, uh, an FF eighty-four, and a really nice copy of uh a really hard book um so i was happy uh with those um the 400 dollars deal basically involved me being like no i'm not gonna pay you 450. i'm leaving Bye bye and then he came back and was like can i have the money and yeah <laughs> <laughs> done and done i'm out right on all right, I think uh, Dino has moved on to higher ground. He probably left us. Uh, I want to thank uh, those who've endured us for this entire time uh, to management. Uh, we are, again, sorry for uh, our infractions. Um, I deserve to be bitten by a puma. And uh, I promise um, it'll never happen again. <laughs> 